Hello everyone, my name is Raxby and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Today we are starting the final dungeon of the game. So let's enter inside this door and meet Ganon's Tower. Now this dungeon isn't very tricky puzzle wise or figuring things out. I don't even think there are any small keys. Um, it's just mostly testing your fighting capabilities. Now we're gonna go uh, clockwise, starting with this door right here. And we're gonna see if we can take on all of the rooms. Because as you may have been able to tell, there were four different rooms that we had to go through. Now this first room has a lot of bars with some skulls on them. I recommend trying to snipe the skulls a bit. I some of them are um bubbles not all of them though i think some of them are just like regular skulls but i think like one on every bar is like a bubble so it can help to take them out although it's not entirely necessary so don't worry too much if you can't i'm just gonna go ahead and do it okay i guess that that should probably be good Let's uh, get out our claw shot. We're also going to need our leaf. So let's do that. You can see there's um, the things in the water or lava water. Listen to me talk. Uh, that's clearly lava. Yeah, there, there's the platforms. You know, we've seen this way back in, well, Dragon Roost Cavern. That's right. We're basically doing a Dragon Roost Cavern like dungeon. So we're gonna time this jump right. This this can be a little bit of a tricky jump in my opinion. Because you really don't want to go too far. But we got it now. So let's climb on up. All the way to the tippy top. There are gonna be those bubbles over there. Um, but I'm gonna risk it. And just jump here. Okay, there we go. We did it. Let's just go through the door immediately. And inside, everything desaturates, and we're faced with our boss. Now you can see, you lose pretty much all of your items, except for what you had at this point in the game, as well as all of your bottles. So we still have uh, all of our bottles, luckily. But yeah, we're gonna refight the boss here. And I am still bad at Goma, apparently. What, what the heck? What was I getting stuck on? Oh well. We're basically gonna have another chance at fighting the four bosses that we fought at the four dungeons, except for, well, Tower of the Gods. But the other four, yeah, we're gonna refight them. So if you didn't get a picture of them yet for the Nintendo Gallery, you can do so now. You get another chance at taking pictures of them. Even though they're in black and white, uh, it, they will still count as color pictures for the Nintendo Gallery. So you should be all good on that. If you want to take pictures of them, do so now. I won't really put on notice on screen or mention it for the other three that we're still yet to fight. But if you somehow missed the opportunity to take the pictures uh, for Goma, it makes the most sense because you... Well, would you, you, you wouldn't have known about the Nintendo Gallery yet at that point. So that's why it's the most easy to miss. But... Yeah. Anyway, take the pictures if you need to. Don't if you already have them. It's really up to you. Let's go. Third time's the charm. And that should break his shell once again. The battle doesn't change at all, really, which is a little bit of a shame. I think it could have been really fun if you had access to, like, all of your items. And you could try to, um... Oh, come on. Grab the eye. What? This is going so poorly. What? Why do you stop? Okay, there we go. But yeah, it would have been really cool if you could somehow like... Use all of your items and try to use different ways to beat them. But there we go. With our super powerful monster sword, they die in just a couple of hits. So it is a significantly easier battle than the first time you do it. So there's that at least. So that's the first one down next up is gonna be right over here so let's uh, get you out of the way here and move into the room 
And this next room is, of course, going to be forest uh, temple based. Let's refill our magic here. We could refill that too. Not really important. Uh, all of our items are again gone. So we're going to have to re-grab them. I'm not quite sure what we're going to need. Uh, at least I don't really remember. But I know we need the leaf at least. So I'll grab that. And, and the boomerang. I mean we used that in, um, in the dungeon originally. So it, it seems like a logical thing to grab. Oh, I totally let go too early. That's dumb. Plain and simple. That that That's just dumb. Oh, well. We lose a bit of health there, unfortunately. But I'm not too worried about it. We still have plenty of... Uh, we have still have a fairy. We have some recovery items too. So I think we'll be fine. Honestly. Really? You roll off? Seriously, Th that 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 is just lame. Like, there's no reason for Link to roll at that height. The game just screwed me there. I'll admit that the previous attempts were on me, but this last one, no. That 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 should not have been the case. I guess we just gotta do it like that, which is really a little bit silly, but. Um, I didn't do it right, did I? Nope, I should have called the thing over. Why am I forgetting how this room works? I swear, this isn't hard. I, I'm just messing up for some reason, but it really isn't hard. Okay, let's just wait for this to go back up. I don't want to make more mistakes. Let's do it right this time around. There we go, and then just blow this all the way over. I guess we could kill those guys with our bow and arrow, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm, I'm just gonna fly through. I don't think they'll really hit me if we fly well, so let's make sure that doesn't happen. Let's go through and start our boss. Why are you not opening? Why would you sidle against the door? That doesn't even make any sense, but here we go. We have the second boss, Kali Demos. For this, all you need is, well, a boomerang. So we're gonna beat him the same way we beat him originally. Although, well, one slight difference. If you remember, I showed off like the secret trick to beating him with the forest water. Well, we don't have forest water this time around. So we can't be using that tactic. We'll just have to beat him with our regular sword but that should be okay still still no real issue one more left okay let's get that down grab our sword and we can actually one cycle this so there we go one cycle originally that's a three cycle but yeah now we one cycle it which is pretty sweet goma you can also one cycle but i was for some reason struggling with it so it ended up being um a two cycle but that's okay here i show off that our sword is indeed much more powerful we do a lot more damage now so here we have a fun room basically we're gonna have to dash through while these uh pots or these gravestones break well that's one way to do it however there are gonna be enemies too so you can also just let them drop one by one. It really depends on what you want to do. I do recommend not getting... Um, okay, there's you. So let's get you out of here. I do recommend not rushing too much. There we go. We get a fairy at least. That That's really the one main thing that I wanted from this. Come on, take it out. There we go. But really, either way works. You can rush through or you can just taunt them, let them drop down. And yeah, I know you would come alive. There we go. But if we want to, can we just go up the stairs? Oh, we can. Okay. So this first one, yeah, you are free to actually run through. Now here, there is this button. That opens the staircase, but as soon as you step off, 
it goes back up. So we need something to keep it pushed down. So we're gonna have to just lure them. And there we go. We now see what is gonna push it down. Namely, Choo Choo. There is that Poe and more Choo Choo's. I'm not gonna worry about them too much. We're gonna see if we can just roll past here. We did get hit a little bit. That's okay. Let's just run up the stairs now. And that's another one done. Fortunately, this time, again, we have a staircase. However, yeah, it's way at the other end. So we're gonna have to um, get past here. There's gonna be a lot of these choo-choos. We're just gonna have to lure them out. Because we are gonna need them to push down the thing anyway. So we're now on the other side here. Let's see if we can hit one of the choo-choos close by to the start. That would be helpful. Uh, it doesn't look like it. This is probably the best we can do, unfortunately. So we'll just have to carry you all the way over, push you down, and now let's quickly run. Except I think they... Yeah. They're mean here, and they're like, oh yeah, you thought you could do this? Well, too bad. We're gonna summon the Stalfos. So we'll have to... What? How did that miss? I don't know how you got stunned either. Oh well, come on, blow him up. There we go. And take him out. Good, we did it in time. Okay, well, this statue is close enough, I think. Oh, come on. Really? R pick it up, Link. Thank you. Let's push it down. Sure, we are getting hit every now and then, taking some damage. That's not ideal, of course, but I'm not too worried. It's not too much damage. So let's go in and take on our next boss here. Which is Jahala again. So yeah, for this one, we don't need any items. We just need our mirror shield. And we still have that, of course, so no issue there. Unfortunately, you can't do this any quicker than you could before. Um, purely because most of these posts still take two hits. So you can't really quick kill more of them quicker than you could before. Come on. Don't run away from me. So you'll still have to three cycle this. Which is a bit of a shame. You know, it would be nice if you could beat this one quicker too. With like a fully powered... Um, fully powered Master Sword. But no. No such luck here. We're just simply gonna have to uh, do the exact same boss fight. However, at least now that we know how to do it. It might go a little bit quicker. Although, I mean, I knew how to do it originally, so that doesn't really make a difference for me. But, like, if you originally figure fight him your first time through, you wouldn't know how to beat him. So in that aspect, I guess, knowing how to beat him could make it go a little bit. Regardless though, one more cycle and we should be done here. So let's uh, try to take him out quickly. Well, that didn't go as planned. Luckily, though, he didn't get a hit in on us at all. Let's lift you. Toss you into this right here. And take out the last few pose. Come on. And one more. No, a few more. Oh, they're pretty spread out, unfortunately. Come on. There we go. So that's three bosses down, only one boss left to go, and that's going to be the Wind Temple boss. Now some people might wonder, like, why are you not fighting the, um, the Tower of the Gods again? Well, it actually makes a lot of sense story-wise, because the four bosses that you fight are actually the ones that Ganon placed. Um... Oh, right. Uh, let's grab my bow and arrow. Because there's going to be this guy. There we go. 
Um, yeah, but the bosses are basically the ones that Ganon placed in this, uh, in the dungeons. Whereas the Tower of the Gods was a challenge set for you by... By the gods, you know, not by Ganon. So he wouldn't have placed Gamma. So Gamma isn't like a Ganon boss. It's more like, you know, a Tower of the Gods and the gods, the good side, placing a boss for you. So that's why, you know, if you might be wondering, like, why, why are you not fighting that boss again? Well, that's basically why. Okay, let's go ahead and take you guys. Oh, come on, you hit me? That's just rude. Let's go ahead and grab our hookshot now. And hookshot up here. Yeah, Joy Pendant, we don't really need that. Also, since this room, uh, the previous one, not, not this room where I'm right now, uh, has a ferry at the start, you can just re-enter it once you've beaten the boss here. Quickly grab the ferry from the jar and then leave again. And that way you can get as many fairies as you want. So that can be a pretty good tactic. Unfortunately, once again, yeah, this isn't a boss that we can fight any quicker than last time. Hopefully we can have a bit of a better time with it and not keep messing up on targeting the wrong things. That is always much appreciated. We'll see how it goes. Well, good so far. Good start. I'll, I'll happily take that. Let's take you out. There's quite a few of those little sandworms. Not sure where he's coming. There he is. Okay, well, let's just dodge him. I don't want to get eaten here. There we go. Dodged him well enough. Some major slowdown there. It's pretty crazy. Oh, where is he gonna be? Here he is. We're actually having a really good time with him. Not targeting the little sandworms at all. Which I'm very happy with. As you saw in the, my original time. I tend to have a little bit of trouble accidentally targeting the little sandworms. So I'm very happy that that's not happening now. Just gonna go ahead and watch his shadow. That definitely helps, I think. Let's go ahead and take one of you out. And he's gonna come out here, right? He should. Yep. Now let's go in for a loss cycle. Boom! There we go. That went super smoothly. Super smoothly indeed. And we come back here. And that is the last of the four symbols. All four bosses are defeated, and that means that this door crumbles away. Yeah! We now get access to deeper into the dungeon. However, before doing that, I am quickly gonna go ahead and uh, catch a fairy in a bottle here. Just because I think, you know, it would be helpful to have, like, full fairies in our bottles. I, I think that will definitely be a nice thing to have. So let's uh, grab our empty bottle here. Come on. Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Well, don't worry. I got it now. I just cut it out because it's literally catching a fairy in a bottle. You know what that looks like. No need to show that off again. Uh, so anyway, with all of that done, let's now not go there. That's the way out, but push on forward. And right now we're going to enter a big staircase. A couple of mini blinds. Nothing to be too afraid of. They uh, die relatively easily. And we're going to go further in. Welcome to Ganon's Maze. Now there's three rooms that we can go through, or well, two rooms I should say. There's also that brick wall that we can't really do anything with. And we're gonna start, we're gonna go over to the right here. And there's a big pit, as well as some candles. One candle. Two candles. Three candles. 
and four candles. They're gonna give us some info about that. We all have to listen. Rexby, you must remember well the appearance of this room, the shape of the floor, the number of items hanging on the walls. Such things are keys to solving the riddles that lie ahead. Do not overlook anything. Yeah. Basically, stop being such a fi, King of Red Lions. If we come in the room on the opposite side, there's four switches. One, two, three, four. The lame thing is they even show you the order right here, right now, which just like, why bother, you know, having a puzzle if you're just gonna give the answer so obviously to not even make the person, you know, remember from the previous room. But anyway, hit them in that order and a portal appears here. A very dark, ominous looking portal. And the King of Red Lions shows up. I should maybe take off my fa mask for the facial expressions, but oh well. I see. So this is the portal through which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspecting world above. Rexby, we shall make use of this pa path that Ganon created for himself. If there's anything from the world above that you believe you need, climb into the boat and enter the Column of Darkness. That's right. If you still want to do anything that you haven't gotten yet at all, anything at this point, like handing back in the photos of the bosses or something like that, do so now, right? This is truly your last opportunity. Because from here on out, there's no way back anymore. Once we head forward, that's it. And forward is into the pit. And we land in this room here. A lot of different doors, four different ones, and Phantom Ganon. That's right. If you haven't uh, taken a picture of Phantom Ganon back in uh, the Forsaken Fortress, once again, you have another opportunity to take one here. But we're gonna push the ball back and then uh, yeah, one hit and he dies. Now keep in mind, the handle of the sword points at a certain door. This isn't always the same, so you have to just pay attention what door the handle points to. That's the door you want to go through. You'll hear the little bling if you do it right. And then we're gonna keep fighting Ganon. And yeah, this is basically a maze of some sort. Like you could in theory take a 1 in 4 chance to try and guess what the right door is. But it's better to just defeat him relatively easily. Look at the door the handle is pointing through and keep going there. And we're gonna keep doing this as we make our way through here. Now he does have a different attack here. That is one that you're actually... That is actually possible to um, hit back with a spin attack. I'm completely messing it up though. But that attack can be hit back if you do it well. I I just... Having the hurricane spin is sometimes bad because you start charging it. And I don't want to charge a hurricane spin. I just want to like do a regular spin attack. But yeah, not really possible. Anyway, let's just bounce back this. He does have one more attack. I'm not sure if he's going to show it off or not. We'll see. Okay, yeah, here it is. He'll, he'll show four... Uh, copies of himself or a few copies of himself and you'll have to hit the one that's real now it's relatively easy to take them all out but i think the real one is like the darkest colored one it, it stands out like that but either way let's try this again oh we're dizzy come on we countered it though we countered it i'll take that and we're, we'll just have to keep going through these same rooms over and over and over. It does start to feel repetitive, but as long as you hear that bling, you'll, you know you're doing it right. Oh, come on. I countered that. I guess I let go a little bit too late. There we go. That was a solid one. Wait. That... I countered you. Why did you fall to the ground? 
and I'd let it go too late again. Uh, not not doing the best at this that I've ever done. Oh, some of them still hit me. That That's a bit unfortunate. We hit back most of them, but then some... Yeah, still hit me, unfortunately. It's okay, though. We are losing some health, but we still have more than enough left. And ah, there we go. We are making it to the end now. Here we go. He's gonna show up once more. Now, if you think I'm bad at spin attacks, just jump to the side. It That's a very easy way to have him, you know, do a different move instead. If you think like, yeah, no, that's bad. I can't really uh, deal with that. I'd rather deal with one of his other attacks. I recommend just doing that. As soon as he drops, jump to the side twice and you'll easily dodge it. He will eventually use a different attack. Now, if you happen to go through a door that's not uh, the one that the handle points to, because, for example, you just go through the wrong door, you'll end up in a room with a couple of enemies that you need to defeat, and then the cycle starts over. So, basically, you know, you do get punished a little bit for not getting it right. But it's not the worst punishment in the world. Ah, oh, damn it. That went badly. Well, luckily we have a fairy there. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and counter this. I... If I'm gonna counter that, I need to do it properly. Come on. I hit that back. And it still hits you. That That's, uh, that, that's a really annoying thing, I think, about that. Like... Since there's so many of the balls, even if you hit them back, if you don't time it extremely well, it's still possible to get hit by some of the others that you didn't hit back. But there we go. Defeating him. We'll actually summon a treasure chest. We're gonna get our final item of the game. And uh, we'll, we need to grab that before we can move on. You get the light arrow. When you take out your bow, you see her to change her arrows, then fire away. The sacred light of these arrows can pierce pure evil itself. That's right. We now have light arrows at the tip. And they can pierce pure evil itself. It's such a badass description. Let's go through the door. And that now puts us back in this first room here. He is here again. But rather than attacking him, just shoot a light arrow into him. We pierced pure evil itself. Which is pretty badass. So with that then, we're going to go ahead and throw this against this wall and that will pierce it now again if you are like okay you know what i want more recovery items or something like that you can go back now and um you know go get them you still have the portal to the dark overworld whatever it's called and you can still go through there take care of that whatever you want to do but otherwise we're gonna move on now we have one more staircase to go. A final staircase. Now our health is low. Ideally, I would actually... You know what? I think I'm gonna do it. Let's drink some of Grandma's soup here. That recovers us completely. I think we could use that. And um, I'll grab that out, I suppose. Now, there's enemies here. But just like Ganon... One arrow is all you need to do. Simply hit them with a single arrow and they disintegrate. But but that's a Moblin, right? Moblin isn't such a strong enemy. What about a Dark Nut? Yep. One arrow. One light arrow. And they are toast. It is such, such a powerful, cool weapon. And I love it. 
go ahead and disintegrate you. Disintegrate you. And uh, we'll go ahead and refill our magic here again. Not super necessary, but... You know, I do recommend going into this final door with full magic. Just two more dark nuts. But they don't mean nothing! I don't care that you're a dark nut. We wreck you now with our light arrows. Single hit, that's all we need. Okay, we have full pretty much everything. Outside of, I really hope, I don't think there is a fairy in any of these jars, unfortunately. It would be nice if it was the case. Oh, the, it is the case. Okay. There we go, snatched it. Fairy in a bottle. So, we have one serving of soup, two fairies, and a blue potion. I think that is pretty good. Let's go through our door for our final confrontation.